Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. I mean, it is sunny, it is warm, it is absolutely gorgeous. You have to feel so blessed to be here in SoCal here in this lovely fall day. It's Thursday, October the 12th, 2023, and we've got so much going on for you all. We're going to talk about that big blue fin tuna that is providing anglers with extraordinary opportunities here in SoCal right now. On the other side of the border, down in Baja, we see more yellowfin moving in. It's kind of a ebb and flow to this yellowfin. It looks like we're going to get hit with another big wave. The yellowfin start to bite, and then they back off. So we'll see how that all plays out. And, of course, locally, we've got some really excellent rock fishing, some good surf fishing going on here on Southern California beaches, a little bit more Dorado. We've got all kinds of great stuff going on, including some more local bluefin for L.A. Orange County Base Boats. You know what time it is, my friends. Good morning and welcome to the Morning Briefing. Ah, oh, so good to be back with you all. I broke my cup, my coffee cup yesterday. John Moore provided me with this cup a while back, so I'm pinch hitting with this one for right now. Hey, if you don't get... Uh, or if you don't mind, uh, hit that like button, share these videos, subscribe to Friedman Adventures. You can follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. We deeply appreciate all you do for us. And clicking on that like button means an awful lot to each and every one of us. I was at the South Bay Anglers Club last night and had such a great time with so many great anglers. And I got to see a dear old friend who was there by coincidence. But Cindy Glacken, I haven't seen Cindy for, God, 30 years, maybe longer than that. Back in the Redondo days, her husband, John Glacken, ran the sea spray many, many years ago. John and I are still dear friends. Man, it was so nice to see her and, of course, the rest of her family. What a surprise and what a great meeting it was last night. So many wonderful anglers. I truly enjoyed spending time with each and every one of you. Thanks for coming out for that meeting. It was great. October the 19th, I'll be at the Fibbers um, Club, and I'll be doing a presentation there. And those folks at the Fibbers, the Christians Club, Christians Fishing Club, they are just wonderful human beings besides being absolutely nuts about fishing. So that's going to be a lot of fun also. While I'm on it, a couple more dates for you. October the 20th, we're on board the Independence. You can still jump on that trip. It's a five-day trip. That should be a lot of fun. November the 3rd, the last trip of 2023. You can jump on board the Horizon out of H&M Landing in San Diego. I'll be there shooting our last video. December the 2nd, our Christmas party at the Redondo Beach Rod and Gun Club. You're going to want to be there. Patreon members, Friedman Adventures, Patreon members are free. You're going to get a great meal. You're going to have a lot of fun. There's going to be great raffles. There's going to be games and God knows what else. It's going to be a great way to kick off the Christmas season. December the 2nd, Redondo Beach Rod and Gun Club. Send me a text if you would like to attend, and I'll get you on the list. All right, let's jump into it. We'll go south of the border down there for the boys that are fishing out of Ensenada. While it's not every single day, they are encountering more yellowfin tuna if they're willing to make a pretty good run down to the south. Out in front, there's still a possibility of some bluefin tuna. Kelps are holding... Oh, man, I don't know, what, 20%? It seems like there's a lot of dry kelps, but every 2 out of 10, maybe you'll find a Dorado or more or some yellowtail. Even tuna get on the kelps, as you well know, yellowfin and bluefin tuna. But most of it's going on down to the south right now where there's 66 to 68 degree water on the peanut bank, on the lower 500. Those two areas have been producing pretty good for blackfin sport fishing and other pongeros and operations out of beautiful Ensenada. If you want to fish the local area, there's still a lot of big bonita around. There's also some yellow tail zooming around. There are plenty of rockfish and decent calico bass fishing on that rugged, beautiful, pristine Baja coast. Man, I love fishing the Puna Bond area. It is absolutely a gorgeous part of our world. And once again, feeling blessed to be standing here. I'm always feeling very blessed when I cross the border and get to go to Mexico, see so many great people, experience the culture, the food. Man, I just absolutely love it. So some good fishing down there. Let's bounce you up here to the San Diego area where the bluefin tuna bite is back on again. I was out on that two-day trip, and it kind of took a dip on most guys. It was plottingly slow 
kind of plunker bites going on, but it's much better, and it seems to be swinging upward right now. This thing is a long way from over. You're going to get those occasional dips in the counts, especially when Phil Friedman's on the water. Man, it all goes right down the drain when I get out there, but you'll get those dips, and I fully expect it to come roaring back. With the amount of squid that guys are seeing when they wake up in the morning on the 43, on several other areas, there is a lot of market squid pushing in to Southern California, and that just bodes well in terms of the food chain, in terms of holding that bluefin tuna right here. They're not going anywhere. They've got plenty of food right here, including the. it also bodes well for our spring bite in 2024. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, and we have to have more of that squid on a consistent basis, but this is truly a really, really good sign. So that bluefin bite settling down. Brian Braga on a three-day trip on board the Legend said it was one for the books, man. Absolutely great trip. 29 guys, three days, 174 on the bluefin tuna. I don't know how you can beat that. Some boats that had limits of bluefin. Now, remember, that is two fish per angler per day. Three days is what you can take. No matter how long the trip is that you're on, you can only take six bluefin tuna on a given trip. Tribute. Limits of bluefin tuna, nine yellowfin tuna, highliner limits of BFT, Pacifica just missed on limits, the Pegasus limits for a two-day trip, the Tomahawk limits. Man, you're talking about some really outstanding fishing. The size of the fish varies. You have that 10-pound bluefin tuna up to that 20-pound bluefin tuna in a lot of these bites. That's about the grade of fish. So 20-pound fluorocarbon, www.opsinusa.com will do you just fine. You can catch these fish on 20 pounds. Now, you don't have to fish 20. I'm telling you, use it if they're finicky. Use it if you can't get a bite. And that way, you're going to get more bites and catch more fish. I will tell you that right now. You have to drop down to 20. But as always, as I tell you all the time, make sure that you're throwing as heavy a line at them as they will bite. And then you don't have to worry about getting chewed off. And, you know, the longer you're on these fish, the more likely it is something's going to go wrong. So as heavy as you can get away with. In most cases, that's 25 to 30 pounds. But sometimes you might have to drop down to that 20 pounds. Choose a good hot bait. Drop your hook size down to a number four circle hook if need be. All of those things are things that you're going to observe when you're out on the water. You're going to make sure that you are paying strict attention to what is going on. And if you do that, you're going to catch way more fish. On board the Toronado over the weekend, KJ from MAG-12 Swimbaits was fortunate enough to fish with a father and daughter team, Efrain Vasquez, Efrain, mi hermano. I'll say they demasiado tiempo. It's been way too long since I've seen my buddy Efrain, and his daughter is some kind of a fisherman. Let me tell you, Yadid was on board the Toronado. She had eight bluefin tuna that she caught all by herself. My hat's off to you for really doing such a great job. Fantastic job for her. And man, the technique she exhibited, she knows how to pull on a fish. She knows how to choose a good high bait. She knows because of dad exactly what to do. And once again, congratulations father and daughter team. I think that is absolutely fantastic. All right, let's switch over to the big fish out there on Tanner and Cortez. Man, there's some good fishing going on on 100 to 200 pound bluefin tuna on the kites, sometimes on the fly line. You don't want to throw anything less than 60 on that grade of fish when you're fly lining. Sometimes on the balloons, it's been good at night at times, fishing the 300 to 400 plus gram knife jigs at night. It's been really good. It's not for everybody, but the long-range boys have been in on it. You saw the new Loan here recently with 50 fish in the 130 to 197 pound range. We have seen just some spectacular fishing. So you have that smaller grade fish that seems to be closer to the coast mixed up with some nice grade yellowfin tuna. Yellowfin to, you know, most of it 25 to 40 pounds like that. And then you have that fish outside. And man, this weather, it's not only gorgeous here on the beach today, it's going to be gorgeous offshore. So you need your heavy tackle if you're on any kind of a multi-day trip. Thunderbird 
out of Davies Locker in Newport Beach just at, <clears throat> excuse me, Ah, that should do it. Thunderbird had an absolutely marvelous trip. 31 fish, I think, up to 200 pounds. I mean, incredible stuff going on. And you definitely need heavy tackle. Two-speed reels, 130-pound Spectra. I like 200-pound leader material. And, man, really great fishing. At night, remember how important it is to be paying attention and to be out on deck. When the captain says drop, you want to drop immediately. You have to get down to the appropriate depth. You'll do that by fishing with metered line that changes color every 100 feet. And make sure that your jig is straight up and down. You may have to cast uphill and have the jig come back down in front of you. But when it's straight up and down, you get a proper gauge on the depth of your jig. If it's scoped out, <clears throat> you have no idea how deep your jig is. So work hard at that. And if you have trouble figuring out how to make that happen, talk to a crew member. They will tune you up and tell you exactly how to do it. That is all very important. Now, there still is some local bluefin tuna around town. The Freelance yesterday got into a good pot, had several fish that they lost, but they got 11 bluefin tuna on the boat. We saw some of that fish coming back in on our Amigo two-day trip there around the east end of Catalina Island. There's a lot of fish now. Many times they're not all that eager to bite, but they had some pretty good go-arounds on board the Freelance out of Davies Locker, and they got 11 fish. So that is really great news. Hopefully that is going to continue. Islands, pretty much all the same. Good rock fishing, a little bit of bass, a few yellowtail, Coronados, San Clemente, Catalina, Channel Islands. We have got some wind just outside of there, but some of the guys are fishing locally, and the local islands are doing good on rockfish right now. Incidentally, that wind extends from San Francisco down out past Tanner Cortez. The weather on the inshore areas is going to be beautiful now for quite some time. That local bluefin tuna area, beautiful. Tanner Cortez fishable. Looking good out there also. And the week ahead seems to be calming down nicely. So the islands, really good on the bottom fish if you want to do that. Surface action hadn't been that great. And again, not many guys are focused on it because of the great offshore fishing or the opportunities seem to abound and seem much better on the offshore scene. Taking a look at local bites, a little bit of bass here and there uh, from San Diego all the way up to the Channel Islands, but predominantly rockfish for a lot of the guys, except unless you want to go offshore, some of the boys want to do that. Uh, Enterprise, Victory, uh, several other boats uh, down in San Diego. Good rock fishing when they turn their attention to that. Great eating fish, colorful, fun to catch. You can't beat it. I'll tell you, on a day like this, it's just beautiful to be out on the water. Same thing up there in Redondo, Marina del Rey, and the Channel Islands. The island spirit out of Ventura Harbor. Sword fishing will be doing their thing again, and they've been doing well. Cody Rogers has had a great season. Sheep's head, whitefish, rockfish right now. Same thing up there for many other guys. Haven't seen all that much bluefin lately, but they've had some weather, and they do have some weather offshore up there still here. But that is slowly but surely starting to go away, become a thing of the past as we really want to see. All right, good surf fishing going on for many guys. One problem here today is uh, there's a lot of salad in the water, a lot of seaweed. But uh, it's starting to look pretty good. And, man, doesn't that look like fun right there? Looking good out there. So, once again, a uh, little bit of salad here. So if you're throwing a jig like I like to do, I like to throw a three-quarter ounce chrome crocodile, catch some yellowfin croaker, occasional halibut. Uh, that's always fun to do. But digging up sand crabs, perhaps the best way you can do it, and fishing those sand crabs on light line. Corvina fishing's been good from San Diego all the way up into the Santa Monica Bay and above. Really good Corvina fishing. I like fishing the high tide, the two hours before to the two hours after, but you can catch Corvina all day long on the low, as you can halibut and several other species. I see guys come down here and they make really, really, really long casts fishing with the worms they dig up here on the beach, sandworms, and they catch some nice spot fin croaker on a fairly regular basis. If you don't feel like wrecking your back and digging up sandworms, big fish, bait and tackles right down here on the corner of Seal Beach Boulevard and Pacific Coast Highway. They've got all your bait needs, but they also have 
some extraordinary opportunities in tackle, whether it's surfacing tackle or anything more. And they can out, help outfit your boat. If you needed your boat completely outfitted, electronics, tackle, all of that, I can help you put you, uh, you with the folks at Big Fish. Just send me a text, 657 227 6459. We can get your whole boat outfitted with electronics, tackle, everything you'll need to make your sport fishing dreams come true. All right, my friends, um, what can I tell you? It is gorgeous here this morning. I hope you get an opportunity to get out and enjoy this, whether it's on a walk. And don't forget, Walk with Phil, my new channel on YouTube. We're all trying to get healthier together. We're trying to put more years in our life. That's what we're trying to do. Walk with Phil. Subscribe today. Whether you get out for a walk or you do some surf fishing or you jump on a sport boat, I wish you all the very, very best of luck. So what I see for your future, if you're jumping on a boat here in the next 48 or 72 hours, I see the bluefin biting. I see the weather coming down. I like when those stars collide. It's looking really, really good. Have a great day. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. And make sure you leave a comment down below. And you can catch us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. That would be great. Don't forget those really special dates. And don't forget, December the 2nd, our Christmas party. I'm looking forward to that one. Send me a text. Reserve your spot. Patreon members are 100% free with a great meal and a lot of fun at this event. We will see you there. Have a great day. And as always, I hope to see you really, really soon.